<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. Whoa! Oh, she's not. <laughs> welcome back to the Long Dark, everybody. My name is Bear. Apparently, uh, we are feeling a little... A tidbit nipple inside of the camp office. It's actually kind of a familiar setting we find ourselves in. Uh, I'm gonna try not to repeat the mistakes of last time, which resulted in our uh, being chomped apart by a wolf, but... Our condition is uh, not terrific at the moment. Should probably consider using the potbelly stove to warm up a little bit. I think I've actually got a bit more food that needs cooking as well, so that would be a good use of our time here. Yeah, we got some more w raw wolf meat, so I should probably go ahead and try to uh, try to utilize that stuff. I'm also going to try to eat a few of these things that are degrading in condition before we do that. Uh, let's go ahead and have this grape soda as well. Probably the pork and beans, too. We could certainly go for a bit more hunger-sating stuff. We'll go ahead and grab that. A nice, cool slab of molasses dripping down the gullet. Not a lot feels better than that. Okay. So what do we got here? We got ourselves uh, quite a bit more newsprint roll as well as some wood matches, cardboard matches available as well. Of course, those have a reduced chance of success. I'm probably going to use our cedar firewood here just to give ourselves the best shot. Although we do have quite a few accelerants. I'd very much like to save those for... Uh, for outdoor flames when we really, really need them. This is just kind of a luxury at the moment. Being able to start the fire within this building, of course, we're just trying to warm up rapidly and also use the time to cook up quite a few of these other wolf meats that we've got on hand. So, should be able to cook up two of them without having to add some more firewood, but the reclaimed wood is going to add us another 30 minutes or so. Should be plenty of time to add on uh, a couple more at least. In fact, I might have enough time with just the ones that we've got here. And I don't necessarily need to stick around for anything else. I could probably use a bit more water. In fact, I should probably go ahead and check on my supply of that. That might be the last thing I need to really uh, look out for. So let's go ahead and just add another reclaimed wood just for just for safety's sake. And I could probably at least add another half liter of clean drinking water to my arsenal. So back out real fast here. Check on the status of stuff. I don't really have that much water, it looks like. I've got, uh, well, none, actually. Okay, yeah, so apparently that's a big concern as well. I've got some sodas, of course, but nothing, uh, nothing too, too, uh, reliable, so. We'll add another one here. I'm probably just gonna melt up a liter or so. Might be able to add another half to that, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Just to be safe, air on the side of caution here. Let's go ahead and melt one more half liter of snow. Then we will boil the, uh, the water to safe drinking levels. And then we probably will go ahead and venture out. Now, I'm concerned about whether or not I should keep heading the, uh, in the direction of the derailment. I don't really think that's the greatest idea in the world at the moment. I will continue to eat and drink all the good stuff we've got in the inventory, and I've got plenty of, uh, plenty of room for fatigue to bounce up a little bit. I, I'm not too concerned about running out of, uh, running out of energy heading out into the wilderness today. I could certainly go for a couple more meals. Eating all that uh, degraded condition stuff, and we got plenty of food now, so that's fantastic. Let's just go ahead and have this uh, have this venison. There's going to be a little bit left over. That's going to take care of our hunger completely, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead. I believe we foraged everything we can from this place. Potbelly stove is going to be going out right now, so the cold is going to no longer be an issue. Let's just go ahead and make sure I have all the proper equipment I can to uh, to head out right now. I could probably actually go ahead and spend some time repairing some of my some of my items I'm wearing here. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot by way of materials to do so, so maybe I should spend some time harvesting as well. Let's get these jeans turned into cloth. It is colder right now. I'm pretty sure I'm not actually freezing. Yeah, we are above freezing temperatures, so that's no issue there. Uh, I think I might harvest these basic boots. we got quite a few things, actually, that I should consider harvesting. Let's go ahead and get some leather from these shoes. We're probably not going to wear those. I don't necessarily want to spend a ton of time in here, though. I'd like to be able to use my time to uh, try to find somewhere else to stay and get some more resources. I don't know, I'm not really starved on resources, though. I could stay here for the night. That's not a terrible idea. I should check, you know what, I'll check outside right now. Because we're in good enough condition to go venturing out into the unknown if I, uh, if I should choose to do so. And it's not really uh, looking like storming temperatures or uh, storming conditions rather right now. So this is probably a good time to get out and go. Now the sun is setting. We are heading west again. 
Someone also mentioned the fact that we could probably uh, try to utilize the shadows of the trees in order to see which direction we're going. I'm not really sure if that's entirely a possibility. I'm wondering whether or not the shadows are will uh, become more clear if we if we uh, were you know closer to midday. At the moment, they're not really doing anything for us, and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll have to see whether or not that's a possibility. But for now, we luckily are able to see the sun. And make our way that way. I'm gonna try to climb up this hill, actually. I wonder if I can... Maybe get a nice vantage point over to the other side. So we know, uh... Over in this area, we, we know of just about everything going on in that, uh, direction, so... Not a lot we can hope to find in, over that way. We're gonna see if maybe there's some stuff that I might have missed... Over to the, uh, over to the north. Or no, that's the south, sorry, the south. Or is that the... No, that's the north. This is north, this is east, and this is south, and now we're going west. And we have gotten about to the top of the mountain here. I'm going to try to climb up a bit higher. Actually, I think I see a cabin over here. No, that's a tree. Damn. Ah. That hopeful vision. Not doing me any favors. Let's see if I can... Oh, it's actually warmer over there for some reason. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm not really getting a lot of vision over here, unfortunately. I think I might just have to... Uh, I just have to take a gamble and head over this way, see if maybe I can find something. Yeah, I'm not stoked on this at the moment. Alright, let's go ahead and head back down. There's a deer here. Probably not going to do anything with it, though. Alright, skiing on down the mountain. Holy cow, we were going quick there. Not a lot going on. So it looks like a, it might be a corpse over here. We'll have a quick look. See, this is a big open field, man. Is that the derailment? I think that's the derailment. Okay, so... Oh, God, yeah. No, wait, that's... Oh. <laughs> I thought that was an arm sticking out. Oh, man. How hilarious. How truly, truly hilarious. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the camp office over there. If we keep looking this way. Maybe not. We might be a bit further down. Oh, boy. I hear a wolf. I don't know if I necessarily want to keep going this way. We are f getting colder at the moment. It's not too cold today, actually. I think I I, I picked the uh, I picked the correct day to try to venture out, try to find some place new to find some resources. It's very interesting that that is a critical element of the game. You can't just. Uh, you know, get out and wander around anytime you want. So there's the derailment that we found earlier. Or found last time, rather. Yeah, you can't just get around and wander around willy-nilly. You do have to kind of, uh, pick your battles here. Pick your poison, if you will. Oh, come on, you're not that tired. We've been a lot more tired than this. Well, you're like, okay, like a two-thirds of the way there. You'll be fine. Not even cold. That's good. We're just we're just in need of a wit oh nap. That's all. I'm gonna keep trucking though. Cause eventually over this direction we'll find something. We could head toward that huge mountain actually. Perhaps we may find something over there. Oh god, ooh, that was yikes. I had a feeling that was gonna Whoa god, what the hell? Oh no, sprained ankle. Oh, hold on though. We found the logging camp again. Okay. That'll work. We've definitely been here before, right? Yeah. Unless this is different. But I don't think it is. Yeah, this looks like the logging camp, which means the Forester's Lodge would be over this way. But I'm totally okay with going in here now because we apparently need to solve our sprained ankle problem because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> so let's go in here. Oh, well, there's porta potties this time. Is this a different one? I don't think so. I hear a wolf. Oh no. Oh, we are not in condition to handle that kind of problem. We are at the logging camp again. I'm trying to pay attention to all of my angles here. There are porta potties this time. All right, let's get inside. Probably just need a few hours rest. Maybe some bandages. Ah. See what we need to do. Alright, the first aid, we need to take some painkillers, which I believe we do have. Sort out by the first aid here. No painkillers. Oh, no, wait, we have plenty of painkillers, actually. There we go. Ah, uh, 
Sprained ankle healed. Wow. Well, that was easy. Alright. <laughs> Good. Well, I guess we might as well get the resources from this place, too. Uh, that takes care of that problem, though. What else do we got? What else do we got here? We got another orange soda. Very nice. Uh, that's a jerry can. I don't know if I necessarily need to take the jerry can, but I do have the space for it, so I guess I might as well. I already searched through the metal container, and there is a corpse on the bed. Just face down. Giving up hope. How in the hell like did they freeze in here? That's interesting. Oh well. To my benefit, I guess. I don't feel like I really want to sleep in this place, though. <laughs> okay. I don't have a lamp, actually. This is very good. A very good find. The kerosene lamp inside of here, but now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to try to make some room for other things. Uh, let's see if I can maybe just clear out the space by eating and drinking some stuff. Let's go to our uh, food and drink here. Sort this by weight. And we'll probably just have the uh, the heaviest stuff in the inventory. Let's go ahead and just grab this venison here. That should bring us back down to about no hunger levels. And then we'll tr t try a little bit of uh, a little bit of our water supply. And then we are pretty damn close after that point. Uh, let's see. What if I were to refill the storm lantern? That's not going to do too much. Got the potable water. I have a lot of boots that I don't need, so let's go ahead and harvest these boots, and then we'll probably go ahead and spend the night inside of here. Not that I want to spend it with a frozen corpse, but we don't really have a lot of options besides, I guess, going out to one of the <laughs> several trailers not containing a corpse within the logging camp. You know, that wouldn't be too difficult, I guess. Uh, but anyway, we got plenty of time here. Got to utilize our... Uh, our freedom to be able to harvest those things that we don't necessarily need anymore. We are already wearing, uh, already wearing some cotton long underwear, Derry. Eh? Trying to, you know, get in the spirit of things here. All right, and we can harvest the newsprint for tinder plugs. That's right. Okay. So we should definitely consider doing that if we want to turn that into more, uh, into more kindling. That's probably a good idea. We'll just make this a thing. And a lot more kindling to be able to start the fires. Kindling, of course, is a very, very precious resource, so I'm, a, I'm absolutely okay with spending the time to do that. Alright, we've got uh, more boots that we need to turn into leather here. I think this should get us down to... Uh, down into non-encumbered territory. We're wearing these boots here. I should probably be wearing the better condition boots. That'll make things easier. So let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's sort off our equipment here, our clothing. Sort that by condition, and then just make sure we're wearing the highest condition ones we possibly can. And that's the easiest way to do it, like so. Uh, we're going to put this toque on, as well as these basic boots, and a uh, thin wool sweater. We're already wearing the best one. Okay. So there we go. And uh, now we can just go ahead and harvest the rest of those. Fatigue levels are slowly going up, but that's not an issue. We will be spending the night here as soon as we're done. Harvesting and repairing to our heart's content. Probably not going to do too much, but I will be doing some repairs with the sewing kit here as well. Now let's check on our uh, status of inventory. It looks like, yes, we have made quite a bit of uh, space. Uh, let's repair our currently equipped goods now. 80% chance success, this probably is going to fail. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. There we go. Alright, made it a little better. That could uh, actually stand for a 100% upgrade, because it would be very much like to have the possibility of not even freezing when we go out into the, into the wilderness. That would probably be uh, ideal. Alright, come on, sewing kit. You know you can do this. Alright, it's starting to get really, really late. Uh, I could probably go for a boot repair, and then we might be finished. Yeah, okay, so we are exhausted now. Condition is slowly going down. I definitely don't want to push my luck in that regard. I'm going to grab some grub first, have some food and drink. We're going to go with this uh, low-condition venison before anything else. Grab something to drink before we hit the sack. Orange soda will do. Uh, I probably don't want to sleep through the whole night here. Well, then again, maybe I do. Let's just go ahead and have this wolf meat, and then we will, uh, sleep the night away. 
And we should be alright. Okay. Make room, buddy. We're bunkmates now. Hope you don't mind. Full night's rest. You look a lot better in the daylight, man. That's beautiful. All right, check off another day. I We've need to done find it. something to drink. Oh, that's right. Okay, so our condition is a lot better now. Luckily, we've got our uh, we've got our rest kicking in. Bumped up the condition to about eighty-six percent is very, very nice. Uh, you know what I should be doing is taking advantage of these water purification tablets. I totally forgot I had. We can just melt a whole bunch of snow and then probably not even have to use the fire for uh, for fixing it up. So that's very good. Let's see if I can repair anything else here. I think I've got some uh, some more leather to be able to make our boots into a bit better condition. Although I don't necessarily need to do that. The wool socks are what I need to fix up the most. So let's go ahead and harvest some more cloth. Uh, probably need to go to the gloves here. There, I thought there was a really bad toque that we had somewhere as well. I don't necessarily want to go outside yet either, so I'm totally okay spending a bit more time doing this. There's a down ski jacket. That's going to give us a bit more cloth here as well. That's good. Very, very nice. Did I not get a full night's rest from that? I still have a little bit of fatigue. That's surprising to me. Let's go all the way back up. Uh, that is our lowest condition item, apparently. We still have plenty of food, though, so that's good. Don't necessarily have to worry about food for a little while here. Uh, let's just do a couple more repairs. Let's go to the wool socks. Fix those up. By a significant amount, actually. That's pretty good. 35%. Not bad at all. And then we'll go to the basic wool scarf. Is that the best option? Probably. Let's go ahead and do that. Very nice. Alright. So we're in pretty good standing here. I think we've got ourselves a, uh, a really good clothing bonus. Let's go ahead and have some more uh, to eat before we head too far out. Let's grab this quick beef jerky. And then we'll be good to go. Alright. Let's do it. So we have not yet explored the rem remnant of the uh, trailers here. We should also go ahead and try to take a quick look inside of this place here. Unfortunately, it is looking like it's quite a bit wi more windy today than it was in days past. We got a straight up fire log right there. That's interesting. So this may not be the greatest day in the world to go out and try to find other places, but we do know of a place that is close by here. So we probably just want to head straight for it. That being the Forester's Lodge up on top of the hill. Because we know that we can get there pretty uh, pretty safely, so that's probably going to be where we end up trying to trek to for the remainder of this day. There's another toque and a granola bar. I still have uh, quite a bit of inventory space, having cleared it out a lot of it with the harvests and repairs, so no worries there. Let's go ahead and search this plastic container while I cough. Microphone muting, there we go. Cardboard matches. Scrap metal I honestly could stand to have in my inventory as well. Could probably go for a couple of repairs for my, uh, for my hunting knife. I've got a hunting knife this time around, right? I'm pretty sure I have a hunting knife. Another energy bar, very nice. A lot of good stuff in here, actually. Not bad. Two shoes, two pairs of shoes in there. So we're probably coming up to, uh to encumbered territory again here, unfortunately, which means I'm gonna go ahead and spend some more time harvesting inside of the safety of the trailer. It's very, very good. Alright, both shoes need to get the hell taken care of. Holy cow, it takes over an hour to harvest those. Holy crap. I suppose that makes sense. It's not that easy to uh, tear apart leather shoes, right? So, that would do it. Alright, probably need to eat some of this stuff here as well. These are not in very good condition at all. I might as well take these now. I think this is the last thing I have to search. Okay, so this is all, uh... This is all cleaned out now. Not much else we can find in here. Let's see, uh, go ahead and have some more of this... Good old-fashioned energy bar. And then we got one more trailer to search, and then we're off to the Forester's Lodge. Let's do it. Oh boy, okay, yeah, this is not good. This is not good at all. This is a terrible day to try to venture out. But again, I think we will uh, we will be able to make it if I wanted to try. It's not entirely necessary. We could spend quite a bit more time here, like make another uh, 
Make another fire. We might even be able to make another fire outside, to be honest. Despite the, uh... The harsh storm... Currently setting us back. Some more watch- Some more watches. Matches! We're actually over-encumbered again. Although, uh, I think it's just enough to the point where it's not, uh, pro prohibiting us from running, so... That's nice. Another energy bar here as well as some wool socks. Cotton socks, actually. Okay. Oh, let's search the drawer, yeah. I could use this. Another newsprint roll, wow. My goodness. Finding some really useful stuff in here. Alright, that's the gist of it, right? Yeah, we already searched that. Oh, cancel, hold on. We can put stuff away. We can, like, store stuff. That'd be interesting. Okay. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. No, you'll be fine, buddy. Let's just go ahead and have some food and take a quick drink, and we'll be right as rain. Some wolf meat. That data bone's good. And then we will drink up all of that delicious purified water. <sighs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Alright, so then obviously what we'll need to do is uh, try to make some more water out of the stuff that we've got. Uh, with the water purification tablets, namely. I guess we're not going to eat the whole candy bar. That is pretty much down to exact hunger and thirst levels. Our fatigue is not too high, though. And our cold is uh, not at all a concern. So, we are going to take this chance. Oh. Alright, not so bad anymore. Still not ideal conditions, but a lot to... Uh, a lot better than what it once was, so... Time to try to make our way. This is not a good idea. Never... Never run along a high ledge. That's just... That's just asking to fall off and sprain your ankles. Alright. We know where we're headed. We know where we want to be. Let's get there. Got a storm lantern as well. Got our flares. Also, thank you, Definition, for the tip. I didn't realize you could press M. You can immediately light a match. Too windy at the moment, but... That is an option. Very good to know. Alright, so it's not too far from here, I don't think. Then after that, you know what I think I'm gonna do is head this way. I'm pretty sure there might be a path over yonder. That I have not yet explored. Going outside of the Forester's Lodge, so... That'll be exciting. Ooh, hello. Speaking of exciting, here's a backpack. Can find some good stuff. A water bottle is very nice. Alright, that'll do. Didn't have any water at the moment, so I'm totally okay with that. Hmm. Man, I really love it when this music plays. It just emphasizes the solidarity. Clear cut. Not a lot going on in clear cut. Alright, we're making our way. Making our way in the world today is really harder than it seems. That is just so true. Oh god, exhausted, really? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we are gonna be crawling along here, oh shit. I didn't think we would get so fatigued so fast. I thought we were in pretty good shape. Oh, no. Okay, well... I mean, I think we're good. If we can just make our way up to the uh, Forester's Lodge, probably won't have to sleep for too long, just need a quick rest. We'll be able to spend our uh, evening when we get up there. Oh god, this is all too familiar territory, isn't it? Slowly, slowly making our way up to Forester's Lodge. Oh, hold on a second, though. Hey! I'm thinking there might be a shortcut. But it's very dangerous. I really want to try it though, hold on. If we can find a way... ...to get up on this rock... ...we might be able to walk across the branch and get over to the Forester's Lodge more quickly. It's an entirely unnecessary risk, but I really want to try it. It doesn't look like it's even possible, to be honest. But I want to look. I want to see. I want to see if it's... Even close to being a reality. Oh man, that would be so nice. I don't think we can get up there though. Damn. I'd go to the other side, but... Honestly, it just looks completely impossible. If this were real life, I would totally go for that. 
I'd totally go for that. Oh, it's just it's just like a direct path up there, man. It's beautiful. Oh god, how I wish. How I wish that could be possible. Okay, let's pay attention here. Oh boy. What I could do if I were a daring man. I just need to close my eyes. You know what? I might try it. Tell you what. Let's do this. No bet. Wait, what? What? I don't have a bedroll. What did I do with my bedroll? Did I not start with one? Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I gotta keep that in mind, I guess. Where could I have put my bedroll? I had it. Did I use it? I feel like one of you would have yelled at me <laughs> if I had left my bedroll somewhere. Oh no. I'm trying to think, where have I slept? It's in the dam! It's gotta be in the dam. Oh no, we have to go back. We have to go back to the dam, I can't leave my bedroll behind. I slept with it in the dam and I left it there. I must have. That's gotta be where it is. Okay, so we know what we need to do now. Once we finally make our way up to the Forester's Lodge... God, this is such a long trek. Can you imagine just this feeling? Complete and total exhaustion. Freezing your nards off. Slowly, slowly trying to climb a hill. You know there's shelter on the top, but you just gotta... You just gotta make it, man. You just gotta push on. And then you got a staircase to climb as soon as you get up there, too. Good lord. We almost made it, buddy. We're almost there. We're almost home. The forestry lookout. Here we go. See, unfortunately, it's not too warm in here, either, so the, the, uh... The freezing factor might come into play. Only negative 11 at the moment, but... Only negative 11, yeah. That's good phrasing. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna get up there. We're gonna take a nice long nap. Then we'll figure out what to do. Alright. Man. We gotta go back to the dam. There's no way I can leave my bedroll behind. I really hope it's there, at least. Really hope it's there. Alright. Plenty of goodies to be found here. God, I wish the radio worked. I wish there was a way you could make the radio function. Oh, that would make me so happy. Maybe there is. I'll try to find out next time. And take a quick rest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.